from the dead. All right, guys, so we're here to try to explain something a little bit better. Now, we've gotten some clarity from the devs, but also have lots of questions for them still, and I'm waiting back to hear on those. So some of this information might not be 100%. I'm joined by Repug and Amir today. Hello. What's up? And we're going to kind of myth bust uh, how to transform your creatures into special creatures and how to tame elites and how to tame mysticals. So here's the easy answer. You can only tame one mystical creature and that is the Colossus or the Mushin Beast or the Crystalline Beast, whatever you want to call it. It's got three names. Everything in this game has at least two names. Yeah. Um, any other elite cannot be tamed. They just can't. That's not a thing. You can't tame elites at all. That's just, I, I don't know because I've got conflicting answers because I've heard before from a dev that elites should be able to be tamed as any other creatures. Now that might pertain to the elites that don't transform. So it could be that the Kibu or the Kobu or the whatever its name, Kodu, it goes by again, like 10 different names. Mm -hmm. And the Goblin, those also have elites, but they don't transform into anything. So maybe those are supposed to be normally tameable. Again, like I said, we don't have every answer. We just have quite a few. Now. There's the Elite Griffin, the Elite Unicorn, and the Elite Nidhogg. All three of those transform into something. The Griffin into a Sacred Griffin, the Unicorn into the Pegasus. Yes, everyone, I know it's an Alicorn and not a Pegasus. Take that up with the game developers. I'm calling it what it's called in the game. And the Nidhogg transforms into the Windrider. Now, what I was told by the devs is the Griffin is the easiest. The unicorn is buggy and doesn't quite work the way it's supposed to, so who knows, we not, might not even be able to show that. Windrider works fine, however, the saddle for the Windrider doesn't work. So you can't fly it. <laughs> so that, that's kind of where that's sitting right now. Mm -hmm. Now, basically the way it was explained to me is the number of hits they take determined by their health and their level, level yeah. is what determines when they can morph. Now, they all start out with a greenish yellow aura. That is their best chance of turning into a mystical creature. If they take a bunch of hits, they then get a blue aura, then an orangey yellow gold kind of aura, and then a red aura. If they hit that red aura, they cannot transform. Does that reset? I don't think so, but I don't know 100% for sure. But basically what you want to do is, as you can see, we have them all trapped here. And this isn't for ease of seeing. This is what you're going to have to do. Now, I'm pretty sure you didn't want to watch a video of us because this is informational. Trying to drag one of these things into a building and close it in there and dying 400 times. So for the purposes of this, we will be in admin mode. We will be in infinite stats. And we already have them spawned into buildings. Your part, if you're on an official server, you're going to have to trap one of these three creatures to be able to do this. Unicorn should probably be the easiest because obviously all you gotta do is have it follow you into the building and close it up real quick with a buddy. The flying guys are gonna be a huge pain. Now the Nidhogs do do a lot of circles so that you can kind of use that to your advantage and Griffins are really aggressive so use that to your advantage. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be a pain. You can kind of try to guide them in with hook arrows but again if you hit them too many times they're gonna go into a less chance of transforming. Now, you guys are probably wondering what you do next, and literally, it is nothing. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is the final system they intend, uh, but what I was told by one of the devs is you just got to kind of hang out with them. And they said on official rates, that can take up to eight hours. What I have read from some people without any proof have said it can take 40 hours. The fact that someone stayed with one of these creatures for over 40 hours sounds horrible. I I mean, that is probably past arc. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely your sure. a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's, that's a long giga taming right yeah. there. Yeah, so basically, we've spawned in a level one of each of these. So wow. in here, you guys yeah, can Nick see. Dog's level 80. The new dog's <laughs> level 80? Yeah. What? Yeah, the new dog's level 80. That's weird. Okay, well then. Well, we got a level one Elite Griffin, okay? 
And in here we've got a level one elite unicorn. Look how shiny. And okay. over here we've got apparently level level eighty so nidhogg. That is that is really weird. Um, I don't know why he's level eighty, but that's gonna take forever. So we I might have think, to switch him out. Yeah, we'll have to switch him out. But you guys get the idea. So basically, what we're gonna do is this server has fifteen times taming rate. That does seem to help because we tested this with a griffin and it took about an hour instead of eight hours but that was an hour in 30 times slow-mo i don't know if you know what slow-mo is but it is a cheat where you can make everything go fast forward uh we did that to try to cut down in the time so basically we're going to go ahead and do that again and keep track of how they are and we can do some math in the end there so mm -hmm. we'll be back guys yeah and, so uh, like um, like I we said want to throw something quickly in there yes um me and German realized that griffins can damage stone structures. Now, we know yes, it's going to be the yeah, same uh, with nidhogs yeah. as well. E elites. Elites can damage... Elites. Yeah. yeah, they can damage stone. Once these guys transform into their mythical form, they can damage rugged. The only thing they can't damage is like the elven or the dwarven or the human like mm -hmm. special castle. So keep that in mind. Be prepared. Once they transform, they will break out quickly. So that is something uh, to keep in mind. So, Glad you that. And also, but, yes. just to reiterate, this is like a Mythbuster episode. These are spawned in, so in the comments, keep in mind, we did not go track these down. We are using admin abilities to yeah, break this, the myth and show you guys how this works. Yeah. This is a proof, that it, a proof of concept that it actually works. This is indeed how it is. Everyone can stop arguing about things. I mean, I heard people say, you have to be king of um, to be able to summon one. Like uh, people are just making up all sorts of stuff. The devs laughed at that one. They said um, they said people are very creative. Um, I said something else myself, but I'll just keep that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. With something like this, it's hard. All of you people out there trying to figure this out, like it, it, it's tough. And the fact that you're taking the time to try to figure something out, that is that's something. So, because you're helping everyone else out, out mm -hmm. there, so props there. Um, yeah. Don't, don't take my joke. Thank you. Hard, Thank you for all your hard work in trying to figure something like this out. Exactly. So, uh, anyways, I want to send out a special thank you to Horse Joke, uh, the dev who was providing me with extra information on this, and will probably answer any further questions that come from this. So, uh, mm -hmm. we will pretty much be in slow mo. Yep, yep. Yeah.
Yeah, this is uh, this is the yeah, this is how you make games. <laughs> I I don't. Oh, I hope there's more to this system in the future. I feel like they should have to earn it through like battle. That would be a cool system. Like, let's say you tame an elite, and you have to, like, you know, level it up. And through leveling, it eventually progresses to the next stage. Mm -hmm. And then with a little touch of magic, all of a sudden, like, boom. Cocoon, and then transformation. Cocoon? Cocoon. It's metamorphosis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a giant flying reptile, a bird lion, and a horse gonna crawl into cocoons. No, you put it in a magical cocoon. <laughs> what about, like, you submerge it into a magical fluid? Like a baptism? Yeah, it gets, like, dipped into, like, a magical something or other. Or you have to, like, execute it, and then you go to your resurrection altar, and then you bring it back as an elite. That could be kind of cool. But give it like a penalty where there's like, oh, it changed, it changed, it changed, 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 oh, changed, oh, changed, oh. changed. I'm looking at a paragraph. Yep, that's it. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, dude, wild Pegasus. Oh my god. Oh, did it? Uh, yeah, I, it, uh, chain. it's eating the stone. Oh god, it is. Look at that. Oh, oh it's, it's taking the place. Oh, oh my god. Start hooking it. Start hooking oh, it. Oh my. Oh. What we have kid. The Griffin, because it's the one eating the building. Yeah, the unicorn's just chilling. The Pegasus is chilling. Let the Pegasus chill. So right there, people. Make sure if, you got a strong <laughs> building. Yeah. Honeycomb that shit. We're gonna have to um I say what we do is we just hook it as much as we can and then just let it break out. Let me see if that'll take him down. Oh dude, he's doing that like epic like Tornado of death on there. Oh, is that? Dude, he's doing like a backflip. Ow! He's breaking my armor. Yeah, by the way, guys, remember, we're in infinite stats. Uh, yeah. All of us would have been dead like 14 times already. So. And this is only level one, so good luck on that one, yeah. guys. Yeah. It's not destroying the building. It's because we're we're it's focused on getting away from us right now. And now it's destroying the building. It goes through stages of being annoyed with us and then trying to escape. Look at that, dude! This is tearing in there. Like my armor all went away in one hit, and that was brand new repaired armor. Mm -hmm. German, you owe me new armor. You just, it, okay, first of all, it's crafted with my shit. Second of all, you can just repair it like 20 feet away from here in my bench with my shit anyway, so. <laughs> Dude, it, it's like a neon disaster in here. Yeah. Walking through the spider webs. So leave your name and number and I'll call you back. I feel like we should play some Saturday night. All right, you think we should let it out? You think nope. that's enough hooks? No, nope. no, nope. not until we're completely out or broke all our crossbows. So, all in all, guys, that took an hour and 24. So that's about 10 hours. Right? About that. Yeah. So that took how long? An hour and what? Hour and 24 minutes. Yeah, so you're looking at almost 10 hours. 10 plus hours. Yeah. But hey, the Pegasus changed roughly in the same time. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna, the, yeah, the Nidog's level 80, so I don't, I don't know about that. Hey, buddy. Yep, you're still a Nidog. All right, I'm gonna check and see if the other unicorn changed. No? We still have one elite unicorn, and there's a Pegasus in the corner trying to fly away. 
Dude, the paragraph is huge. How many more arrows I got? If you're in infinite stats, you're not using ammo. Oh, okay. My but crossbow's it, about to break. On the crossbow, yeah. Oh, it's like a light show now. I know. I'm waiting for Dead Mouse to come in with a DJ table and drop some beats right now. <laughs> By the way, he's not damaging any of the structures. The house it works. Oh, it looked like there was like stone and Is it not crap. damaged? Oh yeah, no, ten thousand to ten thousand. Uh, don't we have durability 10, in our? 10, don't yeah, we, have... we do have durability up, but yeah, he's not damaging it. It just looked like he was. But wait, didn't he? Didn't the last one break out, anyways? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. The house seal. There's a house seal in here. House seal's not on, dude. There'd be a giant glowing orb in us. You gotta put shit in there to feel it. Man. I don't know. <laughs> you got this. You have magical essence uh, in it. Okay, I think it's enough now. You think? Yeah, it's about, uh, like, I'm okay, lagging okay. because there's so many arrows in them. Okay, alright. I, what? Why am I searching myself? How'd that happen? <coughs> He's searching for yourself. Just get the foundation. There goes! Oh, yeah, it's down. Nice. Now, we don't have to feed nothing, right? This should just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a mystical feed, dude. That's mm -hmm. right, mystical feed. Yep, yep. Um, I will tap oh! for a second. No, 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 no. Um, mystical feed is 260... Two, six. A Bargash is trying to fight with an A-Dog through the wall. Oh, well. Alright, there we go. Prey Griff is uh, down. And taming. Level 1. Dude, this thing's beautiful though. Look at it. This thing's cool. Oh, oh my god, I thought I just fired. I know, what was that? Oh, was that? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Uh, well, he tames. We've got to hook the unicorn. You ready? Or Pegasus? You ready? I'm trying to deal with. Oh, the Bargish passed out. <laughs> Ooh, dude, he's making some demonic horse noises. <laughs> it's like oh, the sound of that. Oh, I fell down. We should call him Horse Joke. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he told me his favorite creature is the Colossus. Why does it sound like I'm back in, back in Gears of War right now? What? Why? Is it, why I feel like I'm back in Gears of War. Gears noise. of War? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. These noises. Oh, I fell in as well. It's... This is gonna be hard. It doesn't attack you back. So if you don't have this this mofo trap like this, dude, like you're gonna have to chase around some fast flying horse. Like that sounds awful. You're gonna have to trap it. Yeah. Trap gonna, and release. You're gonna have to make sure that you trap have enough arrows. Release. Yep. I would say what at least fifty arrows per person, maybe, with at least three. So what? What do you think? Maybe what do we put in this guy? Hundred. Yeah. See maybe 300 arrows in that last time at level one. I mean, we don't know if we needed that many. You know, it's crazy though that it just shows that it's kind of like an RNG thing too. The other Pegasus didn't transform. Nope. Mm -hmm. So it he could, could slightly he could have slightly higher health than this one. Just because they're both level one doesn't mean their stats are identical. Yeah, oh, that's what I mean. Like they're it could technically take longer than what we're showing right now taming wise so it means it could be longer what was the sleep there was that 
I just hooked one midair. That was weird. This is a flying node midair there. Dude, one of those is going crazy too. Because oh, it's on its wing. That's why. So it looks like it's a jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> um, I broke my crossbow. Mine's got two more shots left. Probably in it. Maybe a few more. Yep, yeah, mine's broke. I'm out of crossbows. Uh, oh, paragraph right tamed. Oh, <laughs> shoot. He's outside. Oh, God. Stop him so oh. he doesn't eat the Pegasus. Done. Just following German guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, Everybody. let's break. Oh my goodness, this thing's huge. Break the wall, let it out. Uh, come here. Break in the and wall. And follow. Stay. This thing is huge. All right, I got him to stay. All right, we're gonna release the Pegasus. Yep, walls open. Just waiting for it to come out. Oh, that's fine. I think it on, does the ceiling. Yeah, it prefers the ceiling, dude. I think it's trying to get out of this corner. Yeah. Uh. isn't that small. Oh, oh. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, it's trying to go back in. No, don't go out in the water. Oh, rip. <laughs> what the hell is that? Um, well, it's not losing. Horsey. He's not losing oxygen. Do they have oxygen? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is it taming? Oh, he's losing oxygen. He's losing oxygen. Is he? How fast? Uh, pretty fast. He went from 150 down to 80. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Oh no! Don't drown, horsey. 56. Oh. Oh, rip, river runies. We're gonna keep the camera going until he either tames or dies. Thanks. Slow mo. What about this guy over here. Yeah, oh god, his health is dropping fast. Is it? Maybe yep. we should uh, lock the other unicorn back in here first. Oh, he, he's not gonna make it, guys. He's not gonna make it. Oh yeah, he ain't gonna make that. He hasn't even ate once. He, he ate oh, once. Yeah, he no, but look at his health. Uh, cast a cast a rune of a spell of helping. <laughs> no! Dude, this thing is <laughs> huge. And there is a perfect example of why I think that taming should not take as long. Because could you imagine ten hours of doing this and then that happens? I can't eat it because it's underwater. Okay, so shall we block in the other Pegasus? Um, Possibly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 114, that was the health potions. Do we remember? Do you want to remember what the. It's three something for the rugged foundations. I know that. Shabby, simple, firm, rugged wall. Three ninety nine. Ah. Here, Beck. I'm gonna go repair my stuff. So it took another, like, what, four hours for that shit to happen? Yeah, yeah. It, it's Already it's ridiculous. Man. The levels just peak it up higher. Uh, we had to raise the taming rate and restart for a bit. It, I, it's just it almost seems uh, uh, 
a more than arc? It has to be, well, right? Definitely. Definitely more than arc. So, the other Pegasus probably turned. We tamed him. He's there. We've got our Paragriff back there still. So, we're now going to uh, hook into the Windrider <laughs> and see how this goes. So, woo! Oh, this looks so cool, though. Windrider's awesome. Uh, does he not hook? Oh, he does. I was just having a hard time. Yep, and just to reiterate to everybody in mind, because uh, my because I crashed during uh, the process. Um, yeah, this took about four hours in total with times fifty slow mo on. Uh, you guys might have missed German saying that because I was still trying to get it all loaded up. Yeah, yeah. Because my computer did not like the sudden changes in the climate of the game. Yep. Oh god. Dude, he is hitting for so much damage. Yeah, this thing hits for a ton. Early. Early is level 80. All the elites, though, are very burly. So what they turn into has to be as well, you know? You know, that's one thing I'm, like, surprised in art. You know, it's, like, sur Survival Evolved, they never had any, like, you know, evolving mechanics. Mm -hmm. You're already evolved, that's why. <laughs> Look at that, I hooked the arrow into him. Wait, what? I jumped on his back, shot him with a hook arrow, and then anchored the hook arrow into his back. Quit being stuck to yourself. So when he moved his tail, it broke the arrow. We are a raving light show. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this guy's level though. I want to put ton. And at this point, all people see is like fluorescent arrows. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm actually having a hard time telling if I'm actually hooking more arrows in or not. I'm just, after I shoot, I'm looking for the thing that says anchor. I think he likes me. Yeah. I'm going up on his tail. I hooked another one into his back. him I like how there's one hook to the ceiling. I'm shooting him in the crotch area. There's one hook to the ceiling. <laughs> or actually it's like halfway to the ceiling. Okay. Oh that must have been the one you like hooked in his back. It's a possibility. Oh my god I can't even see. Too bright. Too bright. Yeah, but the fact that something like this is this hard when in infinite stats and like times fifteen Aim and times 50 speed, like it definitely needs some uh, fine tuning. Need look at and, um, kind of is, is this what we want our game to be? So, I mean, if that's all they want to do, that is what they're going to do. That, but you know, I see it from what I've talked to a lot of the devs, they seem very passionate about making something that's fun. So, you know, hopefully, they after seeing yeah. this, let's. Horse Joke's been very forthcoming in his information um, with helping, you know, just their their patching. Yeah, the, just their patching alone, like, shows that they're, like, listening to people and they're noticing mm -hmm. the issues. And they're not letting a month go by, you know, or putting out patches and not explaining them. Yeah, they put everything in nice detail. It was really nice. You know, it's not like, you know... Where you get a patch. Right, my crossbow's almost spreading. broken again, so you guys ready for this? Yeah. Just don't do it towards the water. Oh, go 
of the upper teams. There he goes. He's not very uh, wanting to run away. Yeah, he's kind of circling around. Oh, he's, he's down. down. There he is. He's down. It was enough. It was enough. It was enough. Uh, I don't. Oh, I don't have a draw. Look at that. One thousand or fourteen thousand nine hundred sixty health. Oh my god. Uh, a melee attack of 190 which I'm guessing that's like the giga where it's percentile on the damage they do it's not on an overall you know chart base yeah Searing dragons aren't quite as big. I'm trying to remember. I did a video and had them side by side. You want to speed? Let me know it. Why? How is it going really slow? Oh, look! He doesn't have wilderness. No, no taming wilderness. This constitution is like dropped a bit. This is funny whenever he lifts me up. <laughs> so as you can see, even his hunger going down is quite slow on this guy. And wow, Damn one Lord. bite did maybe 10% on times 15. So yeah, guys, if you're doing this on uh, vanilla, stock up. Good luck. <laughs> stock up on the mystical feed. Yeah, mystical feed. You're going to need a lot of it. I think so. There's nine in there. Well, that's his third bite. That's not going to be enough. Actually, that just went up quite a bit for that bite. That, yeah. that was weird. So this is 15 times taming. And see, that doesn't make any sense. Like, it just went yeah. slow again on that yeah. one. Let's see, how much do we have left in here? Five? Five. So he's eating four. And he's halfway. So he should tame mm -hmm. out with eight. Uh, really. Mm -hmm. So we're fine, I think. What's eight times 16? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> So roughly, it would take you 128 mystical feed on a vanilla um, server. Oh man, and you see how slow it crafts. Mm-hmm. Wow. What'd you say? Can you imagine trying to tame this with meat then? Mm -hmm. It's regular meat. Oh my. I don't think it would take regular meat. It, yeah, meat. Like, everything can. Oh, okay. You need to farm the entire server to feed it. <laughs> and half of it was spoil. Your left. Yeah, he'll either tame right on this last one, or he'll need one more. Mm hmm. Nope, there you there go. You go. So that was it. Uh. Ugh. Follow, stay, docile. Look at that thing. He requires Here's a saddle. It re yeah, a saddle doesn't work. We can try spawning the saddle. Oh, damn it, I try to want to, I like when it's chopping his head or something. 
It looks so cool. I don't know. I'm still liking the Penagriff. Paragriff. I like wow, him better. There isn't even a spawnable saddle at all. So there's just nothing. So to fly him, we'd have to like force tame him. I think everyone wants to see that. It should be. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess you can't force tame. Nope. So that's another thing to look for, guys. Uh, the saddles are not in the game yet, so you have to wait, even if you do do this, until the saddles become available to fly this guy. Yeah, you can only have it fall yeah. around. Uh, well, uh, I hope this kind of helped clear things up, guys. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty crazy. Give your feedback on how you feel about it. I will be sending this video to the devs, so I'm sure they'll see whatever comments you leave down there. Um, on all of our things we'll submit that feedback to them for you and yeah uh, yeah we'll see you next time for some more uh arc tutorial or our let's play all right just repug right. out last day back, back, back from the dead <laughs>